Hi there, I'm John from CNCRN.com and today we make a custom polycarbonate stencil. There's lots of videos of me showing you guys making custom polycarbonate stencils. And what I always say is it's optically clear, which means that when you look at it like this way, you can actually see straight through it and it looks amazing. You don't see that in this case here because I left the masking on the front and the back. What the masking is, is basically a thin sheet of plastic over the top and the bottom. And it just helps prevent the polycarbonate from getting scratched up. Uh, but for this application here, it's being used for a stencil over a barrel head. So as a result, I just leave this stuff on there. They could paint it after, you know, many, many paints, so to speak. Um, all they have to do is remove the stuff off of it. And right away, they have basically a fresh stencil to start all over again. So that's why I left it on for this project here. And that's why it looks a little bit rough, but it's actually really nice once you would take off the wrapping on the front and the back. When it comes to laser cutting, mylar, or polycarbonate in this case here, what can actually go wrong? There's actually not that much. The polycarbonate that I'm cutting here is very, very thin. And as a result, it's not really flammable very much at all. Compared to acrylic, if it was acrylic, there's always a flame somewhere with that stuff. Now, the other thing that helps is that it got a lot of power coming out of the head, uh, air power, so it's pushing down. So if there happens to be a flame, it's extinguished almost immediately. And from underneath, I also have a vacuum system, so it's sucking the air from underneath, and of course on top as well. So there's no time for combustion to build up in the chamber, therefore there's no real concern of heat or more specifically fire happening while I'm cutting this. It's very different than acrylic because with acrylic, it doesn't really matter the thickness, it's just always very, very flammable. Um, even foam is actually a lot worse than that too that we cut as well for custom drawer organizers. Now, the only thing I gotta watch out for when I'm laser cutting, that's why I don't leave the machine running while I go do other stuff in the shop, is those little pieces that you see sort of flying up, you know, after they're cut out. Uh, those sometimes fall onto areas that need to be cut again. Uh, so they fall over a cut path. And all the laser cuts through that, sometimes that builds on itself and it, they both, all the pieces fall into another spot. It's a cut path. And then the laser doesn't have the power to go all the way through. Cause you gotta remember the laser is not a very smart machine. It just does what you say. It has no idea what it's doing or how it's gonna do it. It relies on you to do everything. So if there's more material there than I was hoping for, uh, it would just cut like as if it wasn't there. What I really like about this stencil was the challenge of getting very small details to work out. Now the original design here actually has a solid black going all the way across here and with the little letters. Now for stamps and that kind of stuff, not a problem at all. But when it comes to stencils, the problem is you'd have to have support material for every one of these letters. And additional support material as you see here for the D and the other uh, the R as well. And because of that, the issue would be that you end up with a lot of stuff in the stencil that isn't actually part of the logo and it kind of distracts you. So what I told the customer I would do instead is actually add like little lines here. And because I did that, right away, the letters would not have to be as stencilized as they would be otherwise. And you can actually make them clearly legible and workable. Now there were little aspects of this design that I had to modify myself to make it work perfectly as a stencil, but the final result looks just amazing. I'm very happy with it. So if you're looking for custom stencils out of polycarbonate, mylar, uh, aluminum, stainless steel, titanium, any material, even wood, plywood, whatever works, uh, we make them custom spec. Contact me at cncr.com. We can make them for you and ship them right to your door.